So I bought my 1983 Chevy El Camino way back in like 2015. Me and this car have been through a lot. I bought it with no motor, floor pans was gone. Everything was, you know, it was basically a rolling shell that needed floor pans in it. So took the car apart, stripped it apart, man, and put the uh, floor pans in it. I bought an LS engine for it, 4L80 for it, and I threw it all in it, man. In a previous video, I've crunked this car multiple times. It has a cam motion cam in it. It has about 600 lift. So pretty, pretty nice size cam. What I did was though, I bought some uh, elbow pipes. I think they like 45 degrees or something. I don't know. I'm gonna get up under there and show it to y'all. It's not right. It's not gonna be perfect or it's not gonna be nothing I'm gonna drive on the street. I'm gonna get this thing towed to a muffler shop and get the mufflers ran properly. And eventually once my pocket let me, I'm gonna go with aluminum exhaust. I feel like the car sounds good, open header and it has a little bit of a little elbow pipe on it. I think it, I think it sounds pretty good, but I, I, I'm just curious. What would it sound like if I bolted some mufflers up under that? So I bought some cheap mufflers off eBay. They are like $30 a piece. So I spent like $30 for, I mean $60 for both of them. So I'm gonna show y'all the mufflers, but first I'm gonna get up under here and show y'all what we are working with up under the car. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. All right, man, so I went ahead and jacked the car up just enough where I can get up under here to where my muffler set up is. So this is what I did, man. So I got shorty headers on this thing. So I had some cheap little muffler clamps. And what I did was I took that and got a 45 degree elbow for both sides. As you can see, I got a 45 degree elbow over there. That one is a little bit longer. There are two different ones. But my plan is to try to see if I can bolt this uh, two and a half inch elbow to those two and a half inch mufflers. And we go, I, I'm just curious to see what the car sounds like. I don't think, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not gonna try to drive it like this or nothing. Um, I mean, unless I can come up with something better. Um, but like I said, man, we are gonna bolt them on. And I'm gonna take y'all back around to show y'all what mufflers I have. So y'all just hold tight. All right, guys, so here are the mufflers that I have. They are they look like Flowmaster 10s. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. They look like some knockoff Flowmaster 10s. Look real similar to the mufflers that I have on Iron Man also, those Jones full board. Here's what the inside of them looks like. And you can kind of see the pattern on this muffler. So, show y'all the backside of it. That's what it looks like. I got two of them, and I got some clamps. And we just gonna clamp these on and try to make it work. So, y'all hold tight with me. No tripod. I do have a lens on the way, so y'all will get to see the action again. But I'm gonna get these bolted up. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna let y'all hear what it sounds like beforehand. It's gonna be a cold start. I don't know if I'm gonna let it run long enough to let it warm up because I don't know how much gas is in this car. But I'm gonna get y'all a cold start and then we'll let y'all hear what it sounds like now and then cut it back off and let y'all hear what it sounds like with the mufflers on it. So y'all just hang tight for All right, guys, I think I still had a battery hooked up. I don't. Either I don't or it's dead. Hold on guys, let me get this clutch off of here for my Challenger. Y'all make sure to tune in for that video also. Guys, battery is hooked up. Let's see if this thing will start up. Alright, Almost, guys. I think we're a little low on gas, guys. Hold tight for me. All right, guys. So it is super low on gas. So I don't know how long it's going to run. But it is running. And it, and it, it may get it together. And it did. So guys, we were really, really low on gas. Uh, I'm gonna try to crank this thing up one more time. 
But if not, I might as well just let it go. See if I can get this thing to start up one more time. Alright guys, the mufflers are mounted up under there. I couldn't tell you if they're gonna stay. The uh clamps that I ordered, they weren't the right size. So I'm gonna get up under here and show y'all what I did. Hopefully it stays just so we can get a sound clip and hopefully it don't run out of gas before we actually get to hear it. So here we go. So that's what I got on this side. I just tucked it in there, and that's what I got on that side. It's just tucked in there. Neither one is tight, but I'm thinking it should hold enough for me to get a sound clip. So, let's get this thing fired up, man. See what it sounds like. almost ran out of gas guys oh we did run out of gas but it is holding so we're gonna try to get a start up one more time all right guys that's basically telling me i think we out of gas but we did get a quick sound clip let's try one more time for good measure i think we done guys let me see See if I can jack this back in up a little bit more. Try to even the car out some. And we'll see what happens. Let's see what we got this time. Maybe I can get just a little bit more fuel just to hear it, man, because it sounds super good. All right, guys about time when i stopped recording the mufflers fell off they vibrated themselves off but i do uh i think i know what i need to make it work so um i'm gonna order some more stuff uh and, and i'm pretty sure it's gonna uh have to do with me ordering uh two straight pipes to come a little bit further back up you know through that cross member um sorry about how close i was this being guys uh but anyway, it's gonna it's gonna come down to me ordering two more pipes to come back through the cross member, and then I should be able to bolt them straight up, and it should be um, bolted up a little bit better, and it shouldn't be um, so so much of a difference in at, a, at such a bad angle because I don't have enough room to mount the mufflers right there. But I would say that those mufflers sound very good. $30, man, I will leave them in the description for y'all, man. They are 30 bucks on Amazon a piece, $30 a piece. Go get them. I, that, that's all I can say, man. Next time I'm gonna get some gas, I'm gonna get some more pipe. And we gonna, we gonna have some exhaust rigged up. That, that's, gonna, that's gonna be all right until I get it to the muffler shop. Muffler shop coming up, but I think I'm gonna spray this thing first. So it may get painted and then we may go to the muffler shop. So y'all just stay tuned, man. This is a build I've been working on for a long time. So y'all stay tuned, man. For another video that I did a little while back, look for it over here.